The Ghost MV1 vaporizer is a true on-demand confection vaporizer that can be used with dry herb or concentrate. My first thoughts on this vape, the first thing that sh kind of strikes me about it is the size. It is uh, it is pretty sizable, it's a, it's a chunky vaporizer, kind of looks like a, a spaceship or a rocket ship or something and I'm sure um, it, it helps a lot of people to blast off. Um, I kind of like the size myself. Um, one thing I notice is it's, it's very ergonomically designed. Um, when I have my thumb resting on the, uh, the trigger here, it feels very, very comfortable. Um, it feels like the way it's designed actually um, helps to alleviate some of the, the weight of the vaporizer when you're actually holding it like this. It feels very smooth, uh, very natural. The reason for the size is that this is actually um, more of a desktop vaporizer rather than a portable. Um, I mean, that's the type of technology that they've, they've packed into here. It has similar technology to a big desktop vaporizer, but actually they've managed to fit it into something that truly is very portable. Um, you can put it in your pocket pretty easily, um, and it's a very, very sturdy piece of kit. The device comes in five different colors. Uh, this is the Stealth Edition. It's a, a matte black, very, very stylish. It's my favorite color. Um, it also comes in a black chrome, which is much more shiny, uh, satin silver, a rose gold, and a nickel option. Uh, it does take quite a long time to charge if you're using the cable. So I'd recommend leaving it overnight to charge. Uh, or even better, if you're able to get the fast charge accessory, um, then this really does speed up the charge time by a lot. And you can go from zero battery to a full charge in approximately two hours. Um, you just attach the battery, slide it in. Uh, there's an LED light that will change from an amber to a green when it's ready. So very easy to use, um, very nice, efficient way of charging. Definitely recommend that fast charger. It'll last you quite a few days um, without the need to charge, and that's a quite frequent use. The device itself is built to uh, medical device standards. It comes with a five-year warranty. Um, that's if you register the product via the Ghost website, uh, which I strongly recommend doing because a five-year warranty is uh, nothing to sniff at for sure. The device has a ceramic heat sink, which helps to cool the vapor um, as it's rising through the crucible and up into the mouthpiece. Uh, a, a glass uh, Pyrex mouthpiece is uh, very high quality, feels really nice on the mouth, it's totally detachable as well. And what I like about this is uh, you can pull the mouthpiece all the way up and that maximizes the airflow or you can push it down a little bit um, and that brings in a little bit of resistance to the airflow. So it's a really nice manual way of uh, controlling the airflow and finding a height that matches your preference. In terms of loading the vaporizer, there's a quick release button. You push it down and that releases the crucible container. You can just pop out the crucible. Uh, what I really like about this is it's totally detachable from the actual vaporizer itself. I like this for two reasons. First reason, uh, makes it very easy to clean. Uh, you can just dip it in some ISO or you can use an ISO wipe. Um, the second reason is I think it makes it a lot easier to actually load your vaporizer with herb because you can simply um, put it into your grinder, um, push some of the, the herb into there and that's it. You've got a, a loaded crucible which I find a lot less messy than trying to put the herb into the oven when it's attached to the vaporizer. Uh, what I recommend in terms of how much herb you want to put in, um, don't overfill it, don't pack it down, uh, just lightly fill it until it's reached the top um, and then put the lid on. 
If you do overfill it, that can restrict the airways. Uh, it can mean it's less efficient and you're gonna get less vapor from that. I think it's always nice to know how much herb can actually be fit into the oven, what the oven size is when you're gonna purchase a vaporizer. Um, so I've just emptied out the oven and it's showing as 0.14 grams. Um, that was a, a loosely packed oven. So once you put your herb in the crucible, you can pop that back in. One thing to mention is uh, it's out of the box, as standard. It actually ships with two crucibles. Uh, I really like that. Um, it's just really useful to have another crucible around. You can either use one as a dedicated concentrate oven and the other as a dedicated herb oven, uh, or you can just uh, interchange both. So when one needs cleaning, take it out, you can use the new one. Um, also, if you're going to be out and about for the day, uh, you can load both of them up in advance and it just gives you that little bit more run time. <coughs> Alright, so once the herb's in, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, there are two buttons to operate the Ghost MV1 vaporizer. So the first button's on the back. This is where your thumb will, will naturally rest on the device. Uh, I like to call this button the trigger. Uh, this simply has one function, and that is to heat the oven. The other button's on the front. Um, so this is more of an operational button, a functional button. Uh, it was used to turn the vaporizer on, turn the vaporizer off, and you can cycle through different temperatures, and you can check the battery level as well. The device also comes with a mobile app that you can download on iOS or Android. It makes it super easy to operate the vaporizer to see what temperature you're at. And there's also a couple of customizable buttons there as well. So if you've got particular uh, temperatures that you prefer to vape at, you can use those two uh, functional slots to program that on the app. So truly customizable. So you hold it down once to indicate the battery life. If you want to cycle through the different temperatures, settings, and you're not using the app, uh, all you do is you hold it down once, you hold it down twice, and then it's gonna um, show you what temperature setting that you're currently at. Um, and this is indicated by the strength of LEDs and also the color of LEDs. So if I hold it down, hold it down again, then I can see we're on three amber, I can Click it each time to cycle through the various settings. Uh, so the lowest temperature setting would be one amber, uh, then the medium setting is two amber, and the high is three amber. Uh, and then the reds, the first red is the concentrate setting, and the next two are the custom temperature settings, which you can configure in the smartphone application. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually uh, cycle through all of the different temperatures for the herb. So we're gonna start off at uh, one uh, amber here, which is a pretty low temperature. Uh, so I'm expecting uh, lots more flavor, uh, probably a lot less vapor than the higher temperatures. Now the way that you operate this device um, is using the haptic feedback system that's inbuilt into it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hold down the trigger button um, it's going to vibrate to let me know that it's starting to generate heat um, and then after a few seconds it's going um, to vibrate a longer time and this is going to indicate to me that the, uh, the herb is ready for vaping um, the desired temperature has been achieved. At that point I'm going to continue to press this button down and I'm going to start inhaling. I'm going to turn on the device first because that will help. So now it's on, it's ready to go. I'm gonna hold down the trigger. And it's heating it up as we speak. There's that long vibration I was waiting for. So now I'm gonna inhale for a good 10, 15 seconds. So a very small amount of vapor there. I don't know if the, the camera will have picked that up, um, but a very, very nice taste. Um, I'd almost call that sort of like a microdose. Um, really, really uh, lots of flavors coming through, um, but very little vapor. Mm, it was nice. 
Now I'm going to cycle up to the medium temperature, um, so we're going, to, we're going to heat it up a little bit more. Um, this is generally the way that I actually like to, uh, to vape, is to start at a really low temperature and work up to a high temperature throughout my session. The reason for that is different cannabinoids and terpenes, um, compounds, whichever herbal plant that you may be putting in your vaporizer, they all have a different uh, evaporation point. So by going through the whole spectrum of temperatures, uh, you're maximizing the amount of compounds that you're getting out of the plant. So I've now boosted this up to, uh, to two amber. And I'm gonna have a little try with that. So again, holding down the button, I'm gonna wait for it to vibrate. As soon as it does, I'm gonna start the inhalation process. A little bit more vapor, still getting a lot of really nice flavor through. It was a really nice hit. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Um, what I find about this is that the, the vapor output is in no way indicative of the experience. Um, and then I find even on the lower temperature settings, um, I'm still very satisfied with how I feel afterwards. Um, and I know that I'm getting the desired effects from it. Uh, even if I'm not necessarily producing these uh, big, big vapor clouds. So I've taken a, a few hits out of this, three or four hits, um, definitely getting the desired effect. I'm gonna take a quick look at the chamber. So as you can see there, uh, very, very lightly browned. Um, so there's still a lot left in the tank there. You know, barely scratched the surface. Just gonna pop that back in. In terms of uh, the cleaning and maintenance of the vape, um, it's pretty easy. It's pretty low maintenance, which is, which is very much appreciated, uh, especially when you've got a growing collection of vaporizers. What I really like about it is it's a modular design. So this whole heat sink area, uh, that you can push into the silicone and it just very neatly separates. The mouthpiece comes off. Uh, you can unclip this top o-ring uh, and then there's a couple more parts inside that you can just take down um, and you can give them a, a wipe with an ISO cloth uh, and that's it, you're done. So final review, final verdict on the Ghost MV1. Had it about a month now. I think uh, for me, it's a thumbs up. Um, the things I love about it, really easy to use um, once you've figured it out. A little bit of a learning curve, but um, once, you, once you get to grips with how the machine operates, you can get some really, really big rips. And uh, for me, it was getting used to the smaller oven size um, in this vaporizer compared to other similar units. Um, you're using a lot less material at any one time. And then once I kind of got my head around that and you get a you know, relatively shorter um, amount of puffs from it. Um, but once you're used to that and you fill it up and you get like four or five really, really good rips out of it. And um, that's a really nice way of kind of microdosing. It's really efficient on the herb. Uh, battery life lasts a long time. The customer support team have been really, really useful. Whenever I've had questions, they've been super friendly. So yeah. Thumbs up for me on the Ghost MV1.